Good morning, boys and girls. Before you start the video, make sure you've already done Intro to One Point Perspective. It's really important. Otherwise, you're going to get lost in this and get really confused. This, I can't teach this lesson in one video, so it, there will be a part one, and then part two will be next week. Let's get started. So to let you know where we're headed, we are going to create a city. This isn't finished yet. This is basically part one. So in order to do that, our vanishing point is our eye level and we're looking down at the city. This is the top of the cars and you see buildings in each corner, okay? So first thing, easiest way to do this is to just start with a ruler and put it in the middle of the page so that this space and this space are really equal and the ruler is parallel to each side of the page. And then just to make my road, I'm just gonna make a two vertical lines like this on both sides of my ruler. Then I'm gonna really look at it and make sure it's horizontal and parallel with the top and bottom of the page. And then make my two um, sides of my road. So I basically end up with a plus sign using my ruler. And if your road's bigger than mine, it really doesn't matter. It's all gonna look the same. Then I'm gonna erase the inside lines here because they don't exist. They were construction lines. And I'm going to go ahead and put my vanishing point super close to the center. You only really need a speck of a dot. I made that a lot bigger so you could see it. So now you see my kind of plus sign on my paper. Now in doing these building, it's super important that you do it in the same order as I do and don't get ahead of me or you're going to put your buildings in backwards and it's going to get really confusing. So for our first four buildings, we're going to put one on each corner of the page. We're going to start with our vanishing point and the corner and we're going to draw a line. I'd like you to make one short, one tall, and then two kind of medium. So vanishing point to the corner of the building that's going to be right on this corner. So one kind of medium, then move your ruler again and go vanishing point to corner and another one sort of medium, okay? Then I'm gonna take it over here, make sure you use your vanishing point, make sure you intersect the corner. Don't cheat, you don't wanna be not on the corner. And this one's gonna be a tall building, you can tell by the length of the line. And this one over here will be a short building. So we have a short one, two kind of medium, and a tall one, okay? The reason I'm asking you to do that is so that you learn how to put in all different heights of buildings. Now, this is the ground. The top of the building is parallel with the corner. It's very important that you remember that. So this line right here is vertical. This line here would be vertical. This line here is horizontal. This line here is horizontal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. If you keep your ruler parallel with the ground, you'll be fine. You might be asking, well, how long should I make it? Basically, however big you want your building to be. Remember that this must be parallel to this, and the ground here must be parallel to the top of the building. To get the two sides of the building, you're just gonna go back to your vanishing point. When it hits the sidewalk, you'll stop. So vanishing point, sidewalk, to the corner of the building. So here is one side of my building. I'm gonna come over here and put in the other side of my building. All roofs, or the top of all your skyscrapers, will be parallel with this box. All of these will be parallel with that box. So with that said, I need a horizontal line and a vertical line. All of your roofs, will be parallel with these lines and these lines. All your roofs will, okay? Every single roof on every single building. The ground is parallel with the top of the building. So this is actually the top, okay? And this is one side, this is the other, you can't see the other side. So we're basically gonna repeat this four times. If it's easier for you, you could turn your paper every time. It's very important that you don't go down here that you go stay parallel with that line. So whatever this one is, is going to be this one. 
and whatever this line is, is going to be that one, okay? Make sure you get it, otherwise you're gonna get your buildings backwards. So parallel with the ground and parallel with the ground and feel free to make these bigger or smaller than me. Then all you're doing is finishing your rectangle. I'm looking at the spacing here, the spacing here. So this building could be square, it could be rectangle, the roof could be bigger, it could be smaller. That would not change a thing. So this corner and this corner are giving you the illusion of your space. They go back to your vanishing point, just like the boxes we did in the intro class. We just happen to be do them, doing them on a city street. So as you can see this, this looks very, very small. This looks much bigger. This is far away. This is closer. If it kept going, the building would vanish at the vanishing point. Our eye level is looking down at the building. That's why we can see the tops of the buildings. Now, if you keep repeating it the exact same way I did it, you will be less confused. Remember, the ground is parallel with the top of the building. Parallel, 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 parallel. Then you just finish off your building. Feel free to take your paper to make it easier on you and twist it and turn it as you do it. And you can always put the same building in the same corner. Now, one of the reasons that I had you put in four different buildings of different heights is because sometimes we're going to put a building next to it that's taller, and sometimes we're going to put a building next to it that's shorter. Okay? Now, before we go on, you should basically have a stick in the corner of every single one, and you should have four buildings completed with three sides sewing. What are the three sides? The roof and two sides. It, and it hits the street. Now, if you wanted to, you could put in sidewalks and cars and all that kind of stuff. And I will get into some detail with that in part two. We'll even talk about windows. But today, for this lesson, all we're trying to do is get at least three boxes on every corner. Okay, so let's go down to this one. Let's make one taller than that building. Well, in the city, buildings share the same wall. To make one taller than that building, all I have to do is lengthen that line. So this building will be taller. Same rule, parallel with the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a roof. I can run it right off the page here, parallel with the ground. Or I could decide whatever size roof I want. Now, because this goes off the page, I'm going to pretend that this is actually the corner of my building right here, so right at the edge of the page, so that I can go back to my vanishing point and show the side of the building. So this building's next to this building. Okay, if you were down, you would be seeing just like a seam between the buildings here. Then to get this one in, when you hit a building, you need to stop because you can't see through a building. So you go with the corner, and when you hit the next building, you stop. So I now have a shorter, deeper building and a taller building. Isn't that cool? So I have two buildings next to each other. I'm going to go ahead and put one over here that's shorter. So let's think about this. If this is the ground, I'm trying to put one in parallel. So this line is parallel with the roof. So if I go ahead and stick in another line, remember we share this wall, okay? The ground is parallel with the roof line. So I'm going to make another horizontal line. And then look what happens here. This building, we can't see much of it because this one is in the way. So all we're going to see is a little bit of the roof here. We're going to see a full roof here and a full roof here. So there's three. Okay, one shorter, one medium, and one tall. Let's go over to this corner and we'll make both shorter. Okay, 
So to make both of them shorter, you gotta think about it. This is the ground, so our roof is gonna have to go this way, okay? So I'm just gonna decide how wide I want that building to be, like this. And then I get to decide how tall it is. Is it parallel with the ground? It's parallel with the ground. I can draw a line. Remember the roof is always going to be parallel with the top and bottom of the page. All the roofs are parallel with each other. All of them. So this one here, now if you could see this roof, it would look something like this, but it's actually hidden behind this building. Okay, so this is the front of the building, the front of the building, the top, top, and the other corner side. Okay, so now I have two on this one. I'm going to make another one shorter. So think, this is horizontal, so should this. This will help you get in the roof correctly. I'm going to make this building kind of narrow. Okay, did I use my vanishing point? Yes, every time. And then it, the roof is always parallel with the top or bottom of the page. And in this one, we can only see a little corner of the roof here. That's all we can see. It's hidden behind this building. So now we have three more roofs. A taller one with two shorter one, three in a row. Okay. Now, we're going to put three buildings on one side. Okay. So all we have to really do, think about this. Here's one building. If I put in another diagonal line, there's building number two. If I put in another diagonal line, oops, helps if you hold your ruler straight. I want to remind you about how to hold a ruler too. That would be a good idea. If you're having trouble with it, really spread your hand out like this. If I put this on like that, I've got my vanishing point. It would be so much easier to pull it. I was trying to push it a little bit so that you could see it better, but it's better to hold it with your hand like this and always pull, don't push, okay? So parallel with the roof. So what would this be? Parallel with the roof, something like that, and parallel with the roof. See what I'm doing? I'm putting three buildings on this side. So if this line is parallel with the ground, it has to go across. I could put it here, I could put it here, anywhere, but it has to be parallel with the ground. So just to make this interesting, I'm going to actually make this a very short building. There we go. I must have hit something on the other side. So here's this roof. So obviously, this I don't need, okay? When I decide the height of this one, I'll, I'll erase it. I'm going to make this one taller. Am I parallel with the road? Yes. Okay, so this gets erased. Now let's think about this for a minute. This building is right next to this one. This one has a horizontal and then a vertical. Horizontal and then I'm going to need a vertical, okay? Horizontal, two verticals. Vertical, vertical. That will help you visualize it. Okay, so I have to go the other direction now. So this is kind of interesting. Since this is short, you can see the side of this building. These, this building can see the people in that building. This is a roof down below that's shorter. Okay, remember that you always have to make everything look parallel with the sides and top of the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in this roof. Part of the roof is hidden by this other building and it's out of my eyesight. So I have a top here, a top here, or a top here, or a roof, okay? These three are in a row. This is one on the corner, one on each side, one on the corner, one on each side. Make sure you can visualize that. It'll help you with everything else. We're gonna do another one, okay? This one, we're actually going to create an alley. Oh, wow. That's crazy. How do we get a space in between them? Well, it's a lot easier than you think. Okay. So what I'm going to need is two lines to create an alley. So watch me. One. And then skip a space, still using my vanishing point every single time. So I made two more lines. 
Well, this space right here is going to be an alley. There's going to be no building in this space. So if it was easier for you to see here, I could erase that line so you would see that you could go there. If I had a little sidewalk here, and like this, so this is my little sidewalk that you're looking down on. So this would be the street. This would be the corner. This is the corner of this building. So what's happening here is there's a little alley. So that gets erased. Okay, now, this is the bottom of the building, right? Of this building. So the top of the building, the bottom is parallel with the top. So let's get the top of this building in before we get confused. Okay, here's the top of the building. And now I need to turn that into a box on top or a square or a rectangle, keeping it parallel with the sides of the page. Okay, keeping it parallel with the sides of the page. If I run into another building, I never run through it because you can't see through buildings. Okay, so look at the top of this building. All I'm seeing here is one side. What happens is that this side is parallel to this. This side is parallel to this line. Watch what happens here. So what's happening is this is the side of the building. This is the space in between them. So this plane, which is the whole front of this building, is facing the same direction that that is facing. You can just walk in this little space right here between those two buildings. So that's actually two buildings with the space in between them. They are not sharing the same wall. These are sharing the same wall. These are not sharing the same wall. There's no building in between them. Okay? I'll just go ahead and put one more building over here. Remember that the bottom is parallel with the top. So to put this in, the bottom of the building must be parallel with the top. Then put in the rest of your building. Oops, I almost didn't go vertical. And now I have three buildings on each corner. And that's where we're going to stop today, boys and girls. What I'm asking you to do is to create three buildings on each corner, to also create an alley on one of them. If you would like to put in your sidewalks now, you can. Your next lesson, I'll be putting in windows, doors, more buildings, things on the roof. You can see with this picture that there's actually more buildings in some of these corners. And I've started drawing some other things. But we don't have any way to get into these buildings. They also are going to be in perspective. And I will be going over that in the next lesson. You might want to practice this a little bit. Maybe do a couple of these drawings. The more you do it, the more it puts you in your memory of how to do it. Always remember that the bottom is parallel with the top. Okay? The bottom is parallel with the top. Now, if you get stuck in this lesson, I'm not there to help you with it. But if you want to take a, a photo of it on your mom's phone and send it to my email, which is bonjohnart at gmail.com, I will correct it and send it back to your mom. Okay? And that way you'll know how to fix it, especially if you're not sure what is wrong. Or if you just want me to check it, make sure it's right before you do part two. Part two won't be online probably till next week. But um, you definitely want to get this part right before we go on to part two. So go ahead. And then another thing I just wanted to remind you of, that if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I put up any videos, you get notified. Otherwise, you just got to keep checking. Okay, so it's up to you. I do try to add at least one a day, but they're not always for your age group. Okay, so have a good day and hope to hear from you if you need some help.